so... What do you need, love? Package delivery? I'm Hawk. I got a letter from some mage friends. I see, I see. Check the back of the board for our special rates. Helping apostates is dangerous. If the Templars caught you... One of my sisters is a mage. A gentle child, so generous. She was made tranquil last year. Templars claim she was a danger. Now, it's like she's not there. That shouldn't be forced on anyone. I won't stand by while mages suffer. Bless you, love. The board has all the details. Should you take care of something, just drop by. Boiling in oil. Too prosaic. Trapped in a cave with hungry bears right at the spring thaw. That lets him off too easy. Dipped in molten gold and left as a statue in the Viscount's keep. Ooh, that's poetic. What are you two talking about? What to do to Bartrand when I find him. Any suggestions? Interesting happening around town. Are you the reinforcements? I thought the captain would send more. You're a member of the Guard, right? I'm Lieutenant Harley. 
And this is what's left of my patrol. This disaster as my first routine assignment. What are you talking about? You think we're guards? Bollocks! Little Bedham must not have made it back. We're up against Evett's marauders. Evett's? Shit. Fell Orden's up there, and Victor Longdeath's handiwork you've already seen. We tried two sorties up the path, but it's trapped to oblivion. Now I'd be thankful just to get out of here alive. No fair, God Dog! You've brought friends! Shut your mouth! Ha 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 ha! Orden, Victor Longdeath, what are you talking about? They've been robbing and raping for Maker knows how long. Did a broad daylight assault on the keep to rescue one of their number two years back. Fell Orden, a blood mage, is here. Victor Longdeath, Sophie. We have to end them. Isn't it suicide to stay pinned down here? We're pinned down right now, but so are they. If we run, Evert Marauders escape again. So we've been waiting for reinforcements. Victor's arrows and Orden's fireballs taking their toll. But we can still take them down. The longer we wait, the more of us they'll kill. Let's attack, now. I'm with you, but my men may be too rattled to join us. Evitz marauders. They're just men. Flesh and bone. Flesh can be torn. Bones can be broken. Alone, they will pick you off one by one. Together, we are unstoppable! On me! You'd make a fine captain of the guard. Look out for traps. Be careful. Evert's mortars are deadly. Should be the last of them. They're all dead? I... I can't believe it. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen at the keep what you've done. I'll make sure he rewards you. Men! We're heading home!
So, this relic you lost, how is it you don't know what it is? It was in a box. And you didn't open it? You managed to resist the urge? It was locked. It was a locked box. Hasn't stopped you before. What do you want me to say? Nothing. I just found it curious, that's all. Well, this is cheerful. You're looking well. My store is much better stocked thanks to you. If you're interested in hunting down more ingredients, I can make other creations. And of course, I'll pay you for your work. Sure. Just let me know what you need. Perfect. I have a list of ingredients right here. have an opinion on mages, don't you? Of course I do. I just don't feel a constant need to bring it up. Mages don't worry me. And I don't believe the Templars when they say I should be worried. I'm more likely to be shanked in a bar than eaten by an abomination. You can hear those coming a mile away. Grrrr. Oh, is that an abomination coming to eat us? We should get out of here. Abominations don't go grrrr. Arg. They don't? I should rethink the whole thing then. The Hanged Man. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Who don't live here actually have it worse. I hate to be an elf in Darktown. By the dread wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. Got to tell me what was in that box. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him, and now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. He can't be woken up? The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror. But that is all. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade? I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainreel trusts to enter the Fade to free him. This is hardly my area of expertise, but is there anything I can do? Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fenriel back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Frolic through dreams? Sounds like an experience. I'm game. You'll need someone experienced in the Fade to come with you. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect.
I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Devinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will, without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams, and even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers, and slay them in their dreams. Just send me into the Fade. I told you he was amazing. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. Is Fainreel in danger? Indeed. And the danger may not come from what you think. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I never give in to temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. I admit, I'm a little fascinated. Let us begin. to return in such a way. It is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. We're just here for a visit, so don't get too homesick. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainville's mind straining. We will not have much time. two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, the Fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. A demon of sloth. 
It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Call me Topo. I have a proposition that might interest you. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. That's it, Fainriel. Pardon the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a brave lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietha, Father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, Mother? Your father never wanted anything to do with you. Don't trust him. Why are you lying to me? Don't listen, son. She's always been ashamed of you. She wanted you gone, so she could go back to the dailies. I'm the one who loves you. But... Why can't I remember you? It's not your father, Fainriel. You're trapped in the Fade by a demon. A demon? No. No, I want this! Then remember this is who took away them. Only thing you ever wanted. Ah! You. You turned him against me. Complete accident. I was trying to help. Honest. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? Would your Pirate Queen stay if the open water beckoned? What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine, square main topsail, a hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim. I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Mm. This is a demon, Isabella. Don't let it tempt you. Well, if it wasn't a demon, I wouldn't think it could grant wishes. The silence call to waits in Kirkwall Harbor. I will be under the furs in the captain's quarters. I like big boats, I cannot lie. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. 
this is a trick. First Enchanter, what are you doing here? Mother told me the Dalish are honorable. Why would the Keeper lie? Why would she entrust her people to a human? You are one of us, Fainreel. Your magic will restore our greatness. But, but you told me this magic was outlawed for a reason. Even the Dalish don't practice it anymore. That's a demon, Fainreel. It wants to trick you. He lies. The first enchanter is a pawn of the Templars. No. Silence, demon! Weren't you? Keeper Marathari warned me of this. You're not the Keeper. Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons. You! Why did you interfere? Fainreel would have changed the world. Have you ever seen an abomination? They are ugly. You put such stock in appearances. Perhaps that is why your friend's loyalty only goes skin deep. You think this dwarf would turn down an opportunity to seize a power unknown to his kind? What do you say, storyteller? It's chafed, has it not? Making your brother the hero of your own tale? A hero? Bardrin betrayed us. And came away with the treasure of the ages. With my aid, you would have emerged with the glory, not tarnished silver and flesh wounds. That's what you've got. Join me and you too can be a backstabbing bastard. I always wanted to wipe that smirk off his face. Let's do this nice and formal then. I... I don't know what to say. First Enchanter? You're not going to tell me... He is First Enchanter, child. You have a gift we feared lost. As... That's not the Keeper. He lies. The first... No. Weren't you... You're not the... You... Have you put such... You think... What do you say? A hero. And came with my aid. You would have... Let's...
he came... I... I don't know what to say. But... you told me this magic was up... You... you... what do you... And came with my aid, you would have ever let... I can't spend another moment in this place. The screaming. Everywhere, all I hear are the nightmares of people dying, fleeing, gnawing their own arms off to escape. This is a world of monsters. And they all want me. Please, help me escape. Help me die. If I kill you here, I only destroy your mind. You will become a tranquil. I was afraid of that for so long. I can't even remember why. To live. To sleep without dreaming. To never hear a demon's whisper. It is a blessing as great as standing at the Maker's side. Do it. Put the knife in my heart. You can master this talent, Fenrir. You don't have to let it destroy you. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Winter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. I can do this. Fenriel has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. I don't know what came over me. I thought I was immune to silver-tongued promises. Does this mean I'm not getting my ship? Bugger it all. I find there's nothing like being possessed to keep you on the straight and narrow. Your friends awakened here some time ago. We all have weaknesses the demons find. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude.
What makes this relic of yours so valuable? The same thing that makes anything valuable. Someone's willing to pay for it. That's not evasive. Look, I didn't get where I am by showing my hand, you know. No, your hand isn't what I hear you've been showing. Listen, Hawk. I'm so sorry about what happened. You know, back there. That whole time we were in the Fade, nothing felt real, which makes sense, considering. Anyway, I want you to know, I would never choose a demon over you while conscious and sober. I've already forgiven you, Varric. Don't worry about it. Well, I plan on worrying about it just a little. I do not like the idea that some Fade creature can manipulate me. Anyway, I'll stop babbling now. Thanks for hearing me out, Hawk. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh, you have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. We need to talk. Ugh, oh, bugger. I knew this was coming. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. Friends forgive each other. Now you're making my insides feel squishy. Oh, go away. I bet the Templars will get rid of the Kandari. I found your patrol. They won't be coming back. You have stolen my duty, Basra. We were supplied for this task, but you have done this instead. Take what was meant for us.
Good day, Sir Arthur. Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. They killed a lot of good people. They won't kill anyone else, thanks to you. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitz, wasn't there, was he? No, they were led by Fel Orden. Evitz is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. He can wait his turn. I won't lose any sleep over it. Maybe nothing will come of it. Thanks again for your help. I have fourteen different reports to rewrite by the end of the day. Fine day, Sarah. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's kind of you to say. I think we make a good pair. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head. There's another letter waiting on your desk. At your leisure.
Good to see you again, sir. And uh, Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooked up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Thanks for the offer. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Wanna chew on some recruits? is very shiny, Sebastian. Doesn't that make you an easier target? The light of the Maker is my armor, Meryl. Hello, Emmerich. Aveline says you need my help again. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Merin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Is this man in hiding? Am I to find him for you? No, I know where Dupuis is. I just can't get to him. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It should be investigated, at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. 
If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. My mother wants me to leave before we march on the Canary. She doesn't think I can handle it. So you're a prince, are you? That is apparently true. There's doubt? I've accepted the burden. That's all that matters. Why do you ask, Guard Captain? The entitled types are always trouble. In that case, I'm glad I don't count myself as one. They never do. wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. You take good care of us, don't you? Want some pets? I bet you do. <laughs> 